Hey guys, so I'm going to show you an easy way to cheese this really annoying boss, Colonel Zarpadon, on Borderlands, the pre-sequel. Okay, so after dying to this boss multiple times and losing about six million dollars in cash, I decided to cheese this boss, due to the obscene damage that it does to you. By the way, I am playing this in Ultimate Vault Hunter mode, just so you know. Now this boss is in two stages, first you have to fight the big robot, then she turns into a more powered up version. What I realised is that if you go up the elevator and spam jump as you go up, you will fall through the floor, especially if you stand in this specific spot. This actually engages the boss fight and then the boss spawns. However, if this happens and you end up in here, you might as well quit out and rejoin the game as you cannot escape this area. Jack will carry on fighting the boss, but you can stay down below. I found this worked best when playing as Aurelia, as you can use her skill to damage Zarpadon from down below. If you stand on this specific box, you can hit her almost all the time. This did take ages. This took about 40 minutes, and I just sat there watching YouTube videos on my phone. Might I recommend some cat videos? Eventually, once you wear her shield and health down, the second stage of the boss begins. I found that this stage of the boss, her shield recovers way too quick for you to actually deal any damage, so you actually have to go up and fight the boss. I found it best to hide on one side of the boss arena, just outside the outer edge wall. This is so you can jump up and shoot at the boss for a bit to drain her shield, and then hit her with the most powerful weapon you've got. You only really have a short window to do any damage to her, because her shield recovers so quickly. Eventually wear her down, and then the boss is defeated. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please consider subscribing or liking the video. It helps me a lot. And always, stay cheesy cheesers, and let's see how this rates on the scale of cheesiness.